Here's the situation. You're one of a group of people who have been turned into rabbits by an evil wizard. His plan is to skin the rabbits and make them into fur hats and mittens. You have only one chance of survival. The evil wizard wants to keep the most intelligent rabbit alive, as a pet. To decide which rabbit lives, he sets a difficult multiplication problem. The rabbit who solves it first will live. But you can't use a calculator, a smartphone or a computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy! It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy! I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 1,234 times 5,678. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into four columns, because the first number, 1,234, has four digits. You also have to subdivide the box into four rows, because 5,678 has four digits. You end up with a box subdivided into 16 smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the 16 small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 1234, along the top of the box so each digit lines up with a column. Write 5,678 down the right-hand side of the box, so each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart but you can't use a calculator because you're a rabbit. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with the top right hand corner, although you could start anywhere else if you want to. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. On to the next column. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 8 is 24. Next column. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 8 is 16. Now for the final column. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 is less than 10. So put the 5 below the diagonal and a 0 above. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 8 is 8. Working on these problems is a really good test of your knowledge of the times tables. That's step 2. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. 
finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, 2. So write 2 directly below the diagonal. 8 plus 3 plus 4 is 15. Write the 5 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. Now, I'm going to try to add things up in groups of 10 if I can. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 16. Write the 6 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 8 plus 2 is 10. Plus 8 plus 2 is 20. Plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 26. Write the 6 below the diagonal and carry the 2 across to the next diagonal. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. Plus 5 is 10. Plus 7 plus 1 plus 2 is 20. Write 0 next to the diagonal and carry the 2 across to the next diagonal. 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 6 is 10. Write the 0 next to the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 1 plus 5 is 7. The final diagonal only has the number 0 in it, so write 0 next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. The first number is 0, so we don't need to include that. 7, 0, 0, 6, 6, 5, 2. 1,234 times 5,678 equals 7,006,652. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not a rabbit. 1,234 times 5,678 equals 7,006,652. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the Multiplication Guy.